going on guys? I'm Mr. Richard and this is the Rich Get Richard. And on today's lesson, we're gonna talk about how to make money while you're sleeping. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So, for those who don't know who I am, my name is Mr. Richard. And this, this show is called The Rich Get Richard, where I just get on the internet, turn on the mic, and I just teach you all the ways how I became really, really successful. And today, we're gonna to talk about how to make money while you sleep. Three ways you can make money while you're sleeping. But first, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow me. I'm all over the place. I'm deep in the streets. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, maybe, I don't know. And especially on YouTube. So, if you like the content, let a brother know, man. Leave a little typey type 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 at the bottom. And if you don't, just tell me I suck too. It's better than nothing. All, all feedback is good feedback, right? I like constructive criticism. So if you like it, you're feeling it, let me know. If you don't, then don't. Okay, so today's subject is how to make money while you're sleeping. You always hear all these gurus talking about you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to make more money. But I tell you what, it's nothing like making money while you're sleeping. Because everybody sleeps and everybody want to make more money. However, it's not as hard as you think. So, everybody think you got to go out and spend all this money and do all this and do all that. That's bull crap. Or buy one of these courses. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, man. You don't have to spend all this money on these courses. Or you got to go out and talk to all these gurus and, and do all this other kind of crazy shit. Just keep it simple. Here you go, three steps that I use to make money while I'm sleeping. Number one is to invest in dividend paying stocks. So what you do is, I got a simple approach on stocks, first of all. One, invest in a company that's gonna be here 10 years from now, one. Two, invest in a company that the majority of people know, all right? I mean, it's simple. So if you go to your mom, or you go to your brother, or something like that, you say, hey, have you heard of this? Have you heard of that company? Have you heard of this company? And they say, mm, nah, never heard of it. Then don't invest in it. So, company, I gave you an example. It was a stock ticker, I think it was MOV, that was giving out ridiculous dividend. For every stock I had, I was getting paid like 9%, 10% return on dividend. But no one heard of MOV. It was an oil company. I think it was in like Africa or something like that. But it's paying good return. Stock went up, then the stock damn near crashed. I was making good returns for like six, seven months. But after that, it, 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 it crashed. So stick to companies you've heard of. So some big companies out there that pays dividends is Procter & Gamble. Everybody's heard of them, right? You have it? You buy toilet paper, toothpaste, razors, Febreze? That company owns all that. And that's way, way more. And they pay a, they pay a dividend. Every time you get a stock, they give you a check. I mean, about simple as it gets. It's only like four or five percent, but the objective is to make money while you're sleeping, right? So if you bought a, sh a share of that company at $50 and every three months they pay you, a, a give you a check, which the equivalent is four or 5% a year, that's a check for doing nothing, right? You didn't earn that. You sat on your butt and got a check, right? So that's the, that's the objective. Get a check by sitting on your butt. So one, invest in the stock market. If you don't know how to invest in the stock market, get with somebody or watch another video of mine. It kind of breaks it down, but I'll kind of give you a quick synopsis. Get on Robinhood, which I'm too much mess with Robinhood, but people like it. Weeble, E-Trade, Scott Trade, Ameritrade, and you Google dividend, highest paying dividend stock or dividend stocks, but you only look for the one 
that you've heard of. Okay, I've heard of this company. Oh, I've heard of this company. Will they be around in 10 years? Yeah. And then when you do it, don't invest in dividend stocks that are all the same. Like I'm not gonna do, you know, five oil companies or five consumer companies or five car companies. That's stupid. Just spread it out. Consumer company, like Amazon or something like that. I don't think they pay dividend, but something like that. Electronic product, gasoline, oil, car industry, you know, just spread it out. It's not it's not rocket science. Not rocket science. Right? So dividend stock, that's one. Two, rental property. Rentals. I've been holding these checks in my hand. I was supposed to introduce you to these at the beginning to like get you to watch the video that long. But here is last month's rental checks. Come on. What did I say? I'm trying to get it to focus. 1400. Here go another one. I really can't see them. 250. What's next? You know, I'm not gonna go through all these, but you know. What's that, 12, 16? I'm not gonna go through all these. I think it's a game. So what you do is, you find a house. Under value, or a value add, or something you can put a little money into. You get the property, you purchase the property, put the down payment on it, put a little money in it, and then you rent it out. And make sure your expenses is less <laughs> then you're in. I mean, simple, right? Super, super simple. And if you want to get started, what you do is you you house hack. So you rent out a room of your house to friend or family member or someone you don't know. Or put like a little partition up. Hey, this is your side of the house. $400, $500. Don't spend that money. Say if it's $500, six grand a year. Six grand a year at 10%, you can put down on a $60,000 house. You're probably thinking, Man, there's no $60,000 houses around me. Yeah, they are. I promise you. I don't give a shit where you live. Maybe California or New York. Exclude them too. But I mean, if you look hard enough, you can find $60,000, $80,000 houses. They're everywhere. You just gotta look for them and they're gonna need a little work. But then that $500 you make a month, you put that back, back in them properties. Or you get your tax return, put it in there. Or you find a family member who wanna, yo, I found a house. You want to go half on this? I do the work. You pay for it. We split the profit. You know, they're all out there. Or get in one of these Facebook social media groups and say, hey, I'm looking for an investor. It never hurt to ask. You'd be surprised. Because there's people with a lot of money who don't have the time. Which I need to call a guy who wanted to invest. Oh, shit. Anyway, that's another story. But yeah, you know, so... All you do is sit down with them, have dinner. Yo, this is my plan, this is what I do. I buy this amount of many houses a, a year. I rent them out, I fix them up. And then once you kind of get good at it, yo, get checks for life. So I, be, I get paid, you know, and then what you do is you hire a property manager and they deal with your tenant issues. A lot of people say, I, well, I don't want to deal with tenant. Okay, cool, pay someone 10% of your profits. But your spread be so big, you don't even care. Like one spread on a property, it's something like I have one that's like sixteen hundred dollars spread. Well, it's gonna be sixteen hundred dollars this month, but last month it wasn't rented. But it's gonna be sixteen hundred dollars a month. You tell me I can't afford one hundred sixty dollars for a sixteen hundred dollar profit and a headache I ain't got to deal with, but sit sit at home and collect these fat checks. Do better, people. Do better. And the third one is you need to, um, whatever plan that's at your job, you need to invest in it. So if you're in like a 401k or your job has a, a retirement plan, you need to be max contributing to that. Because one day you might think to yourself, man, I'm, I'm getting old. And uh, you, you, I mean, you're gonna get old one day and you're gonna think to yourself, man, I. I, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do for money. 
yeah, you, you should invest it at a young age. I uh, work with an individual now and he's like, he can afford to invest, but he said he thinks the investing with the company is dumb, but like day trading is fun. I was like, they're giving you free money. They'll match it up to 5%. That's literally free money. They're just giving it to you, you know? So, hey, you need to start getting into real estate. You need to start uh, buying stocks that pay dividend. And then you need to start contributing to your job 401k. I mean, simple, easy ways. Anybody can do that. And if you can't afford to buy a house, rent out some of your rooms to somebody. I know it kind of sucks, but it's temporary. I rented out three rooms in my first house. Now look at me. Caked up, cool background, pretty snazzy shirt, great dental plan, bling bling watch. Hey, it's a means to an end, right? So, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna take too much of your time up. Please make sure you follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok and Facebook. I'm each person to reach out to, hit me up on the gram, say, hey, like your video, man. Thanks, keep them coming. I really appreciate that, and I read all the comments at the bottom too. So, to my lefties and my righties, is the other videos I have. In the middle should be a subscribe button. Hit that button, follow, do that, playboy. Mr. Richard, out this bitch.